Deuteronomy 6. You know, when we when we look at that passage right there, we see you're familiar with this. Uh, yeah, there is a role that the village plays. Absolutely. The church mentors. Cameron was talking about this today at lunch. Uh, but parents are the ones who are primarily responsible for spiritual nurture. Just as an aside, Deuteronomy 6 is about 24-7 ongoing catechesis that we are talking about the Lord. We're nurturing our children in the, in the Lord at every opportunity we have. And again, I'll say we have dropped the ball on this, and part of it is because we're, we've been catechized by the culture ourselves, parents have, and we're allowing the culture to do that as well. You move to the New Testament, and just a couple of mentions of passages here, Ephesians 6, where it, we're told, you know, fathers, and this would go for families, parents as well, don't exasperate your children, but bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. That's our responsibility. So realize that you are a secondary influence. Now, let me make just a, a statement here, because this could be an issue for some of us, and I've seen this in uh, some of our more reformed churches, and that is that we may have created or become a part of uh, a church, uh, a congregational system or a church, local church body family that really says that youth ministry is only about covenant children. And I would push back on that. I would push back hard on that because there are a decreasing amount of covenant children in our world and our culture. There are a decreasing amount of covenant children in our communities. There are a decreased amount of covenant children in our churches. And certainly we need to be about the process of building up covenant families and seeing more and more covenant children in our families. But you may have to become, you may have to become, and there's a whole theology here with that you may have to work through with people who think, no, 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 the youth group's only for kids from Christian families. I would push back on that in some big, big ways. Theologically, I don't see that to be biblical at all. Um, but there will be times when you will become a primary spiritual influence in the life of a young person uh, because they are, in effect, spiritual orphans because of the situation in which they're growing up, um, either forgotten or there's no spiritual foundation there. So be sure to communicate to covenant parents clearly. Be sure to communicate to your church family clearly. I am not the primary influence. I'm not here to do this for you. I'm here to assist you. I'm a secondary influence. But let them know as well that you're going to be reaching out uh, to those kids who, who need to have that. And I will just say this. Some people will say, you know, this may be a question later. People will say uh, to me, you know, uh, in my church, well, no, we hired you to, to, to work with our kids. And what I would say to that, I'm just going to say, at my age, 61, and having searched the scriptures on this and been around the block a few times, I would say, too bad. Too bad. You know, I, I'm, I'm called to reach out and be a gospel influence everywhere.